Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Just a quick tip here. Uh, this comes up a lot. And first and foremost, it's supposed to be 85 here in Tennessee, which I am I don't believe until I see it and feel it. Having said that, uh, question. Somebody graduates from college. Now they're looking to buy a house. Okay. So how does that work? So a lot of times people say, well, you have to be two years on the job and, and so forth. That's not true. Uh, every circumstance is a little bit different. Every program, you know, depending on conventional and government, meaning FHA or, or VA, is, is somewhat different. But essentially, if somebody goes to school, okay, and gets trained to do what they are going to be working in. So let's say they, they go there for training to be an attorney, just as an example, okay? So they went to school, they graduated. Now they're going into a law firm and, and they're getting a payroll and all that stuff, right? Uh, it could be a counselor. It could be anything like that. But if you went to school and got trained for that and now you've got a new job, that school counts as employment history because that was part of your training. Okay, same thing goes for, you know, if it's not college, if it's a trade school or if it's something, something to, to become uh, specialized, anything, you know, fireman or some, anything like that, policeman. Uh, the training counts as employment history, okay? It doesn't usually count when it starts from day one. Now, if it's a completely different job, different ball game, uh, there's different scenarios for conventional for, for FHA. FHA, you usually have to wait six months to be on the job uh, for that, uh, to, to have a shot. But if, if you're going to school or you're going to some sort of training before you start your employment, that counts as employment history, okay? So, and and, you know, if, you know, if people go to college, that's four years a lot of times, or six years, depending on if they're going to go to graduate school and so forth, sometimes eight years. Uh, so that employment history and, you know, any training, you know, if somebody's become a, a police officer and there's some training going on, obviously there is, uh, that goes into their employment history, okay? So very, very important. Um, you know, basically we got a deal last week because they didn't know how to structure because of that. For some reason, it's Basic stuff, but for some reason they didn't do it. Uh, but you know their loss is our gain. Uh, but felt bad for the client because we had to scramble around a little bit. But but we made it happen. So if you got any questions on that, just comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at four two three two six two nine two two nine. That's four two three two six two nine two two nine. Have a great great Tuesday. Enjoy the warm weather wherever you are. Uh, like I said, today's supposed to be 85 in Tennessee. I don't believe it yet, but we shall see. Have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye.